We all know nativity scenes are a standard part of Christmas decorating, but how did they start? Tradition holds that St. Francis of Assisi created the first nativity scene in the year 1223, three years before he died. He called it a creche, the French word for cradle. The incarnation was a key part of the spirituality of St. Francis, and he wanted to celebrate it in a special way, a way that would help people really experience the Christ child, who he felt had been overlooked and forgotten by the church of his day. He wanted to immerse ordinary people into the circumstances in which Christ was born in Bethlehem, into poverty, humility, and simplicity. These are actually the very same virtues the Franciscan order was founded on. Francis created a manger complete with hay and two live animals, an ox and a donkey, in a small mountaintop cave in the Italian village of Greccio. While it isn't totally clear from the historical record, it's believed that Francis may have also recruited real people from among the villagers to stand in for Mary and Joseph, with a figure or doll standing in for the baby Jesus. Along with his Franciscan brothers, local villagers came to the cave on Christmas Eve by torchlight, illuminating the winter evening. They gazed upon the scene while Francis preached. Francis was apparently so moved, he couldn't even speak the name of Jesus, calling him simply the Babe of Bethlehem. St. Bonaventure wrote about that night in his biography of St. Francis and included this miraculous tidbit. A certain valiant and voracious soldier, Master John of Greccio, who, for the love of Christ, had left the warfare of this world and become a dear friend of this holy man, affirmed that he beheld an infant, marvelously beautiful, sleeping in the manger, whom the blessed Father Francis embraced with both his arms, as if he would awake him from sleep. Bonaventure also claims that the hay used in the Christmas creche miraculously gained the power to cure local cattle of disease. St. Francis lived during the Middle Ages, and at that time, dramatizations of stories from the Bible were a common form of entertainment in churches and town squares. Most people were illiterate, and copies of the Bible were not widely available. Those that did exist were written in Latin, a language known only by the highly educated. So these plays, which were performed in the common tongue of the region, served the same purpose as stained glass windows inside churches. They were a simple way of learning about scriptural narratives that everyone could understand. The Christmas crash grew out of this tradition. Since that night on a mountaintop near Greccio, the Christmas crash has become a part of the world's Christmas celebrations. And whether it's a living dramatization, a large nativity scene, or carved miniatures, looking at a crash with reverence brings us always closer to the 2,000-year-old but ever-new Christmas mystery.